Hey guys, this is Martin again, and we are in the Firefox extension mini series. And today I'm going to show you another extension I use on a regular basis, and it's called User Agent Switcher. So it's a very neat extension. You can download it directly from uh, Mozilla. And basically what it does is changing your user agent. So you might recall from one of my previous videos that you have a user agent, which is a header, which is being sent typically along with requests. And let's just take a look at Burp, for example. So if, if, I, if you look at this get request, you see there's a user agent and that's basically dependent on my browser, right? So in this case, I've, I launched this from Firefox and then it, I'm on a Mac and it gives like additional information and things like that. And now wh why you want to change the user agent is, is pretty simple. So you often have scenarios where they have like a mobile friendly version, right? So they have a mobile friendly version of a web application, but it displays differently if you browse to it from an Android or from an iPhone. And um, very often they use a different code base for this, right? So you might encounter vulnerabilities on the mobile side, which you do not encounter on the on, on the normal web browser side or the web application side because they're using a different code base. So I had scenarios where you had all of a sudden different API calls being made, like special mobile um, crafted API calls and things like that. And they were full of vulnerabilities and I didn't find anything on the web application. So it's super useful to, to, to use a tool like that. And again, you can do this manually, right? Like you, you can simply replace this or use the match replace option in Burp and stuff, but there's an easier way, which is directly in the browser. So you can simply come over here and then you have something like this, right? And then you say what you wanna mimic, right? So for example, if I want to say like, hey, I want to now browse like as an iPhone user, I change this to iPhone and I reload the page. And what should happen now is if I now check it is, I would see I am an iPhone user, right? So I'm now coming, I'm displaying the whole thing as an iPhone user, I can render this and stuff. And it looks pretty well, it's a bit different than, than the mobile version. Sometimes you have like significant differences that certain certain options may not be even available on the on the mobile view, right? Like um, certain paragraphs may not be visible and it's optimized from for mobile view, right? And you can simply come here and like check them out, like use different ones. Like for example, you could say like, hey, I want to come with an Android phone with a specific Firefox version or something and and then you, you just reload it and then you, you can do your whole testing basically then with this specific user agent. So it's it's super, I find it super useful um, because you should always test the, the web view with a regular browser like a Chrome, a Firefox, an Edge, um, Opera, blah, 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 but also with the mobile view, right? Like because very often you have bugs in mobile views or vice versa, M mobile maybe top and there may be uh, vulnerabilities on the, if you come with a with a regular web browser or something like this. But I find this extension incredibly useful, so I highly recommend you install it as well. And once again, it's called User Agent. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and I see you in one of the next ones. Many thanks.